With thanks to the city of Brimbank across our neighbourhood and the world, The Connect Podcast with Mikael on Brimbank Live on Live FM. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the Connect podcast on Brimbank Live, Live FM. Uh, today, our guest is um, Yankee Lee. He's a friend of mine. Yes. I've known him since uh, since when? 2020. He's, yeah. So, welcome. Introduce yourself to our, our listeners. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, sure. Hi, everyone. My name is Yankee. So I have full name Yankee Lee. So I come from China. Yeah, uh, I used to live with Melbourne since 2015 to 2020. So yeah, because the COVID-19, I traveled back to China. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, that, yeah. Was a, uh, that was a bummer for sure. Oh, man. This kind of drama, man. Mm. Man, I'm missing Melbourne, man. <laughs> Yeah, Melbourne misses you too, bro. Jeez. <laughs> but it's okay, man. We wait for the border like uh, open till the the, the COVID nineteen things finish and come come back, man. Yeah, yeah. So for the people who are listening, um, so Yankee Lee was he's a friend of mine. I, he also does like uh, a little bit of rap, um, as well, and he's been living in Melbourne and all we met like in 2020 like at the start and then and then covid break out and then he had to fly back um all the way in china to family like how was that time for you like i remember we're just like kicking up and we're trying to like plan stuff that we're gonna do all those those ideas that just went to to the (laughs) bin how was that experience for you Oh man, that was crazy. That was crazy experience. So the time I was just, you know, uh when I noticed the the thing because the China is under control. Because before China was very bad, because this thing started from China. But yeah. The thing is like um China has like a very strong, very powerful government. We only have one government. It's like there's one party. So the um because this this virus things be easily be uh be controlled in short time. And the time Melbourne just start, I just noticed might be difficult to control in domestic country. Mm. So I think it's better to make the decision to go back to China. Because you know I don't want to be quarantined for for whole, all the time. I know most yeah. of you guys in Australia have been especially in Melbourne be quarantined like one than three months. <laughs> yeah, so. it was definitely um uh... Definitely a crazy, crazy time, man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. How so did you... The, the, yeah, 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 keep going, keep going. My bad. <laughs> oh, all good. So the trip back to China was kind of like... Uh, that was there was, there was interesting and scary, you know? So yeah. I was wearing a mask then on the airplane because there's risk I can, I can get I can get infection too, so... True. True. Yeah, that was... What? That must have been... That must have been a crazy as time for you especially flying back like yeah i just remembered like how infectious it was like a few a few i think it was like a few week uh a few weeks i was planning to travel to us and i think i was sick on like the day of traveling and i ended up staying i'm kind of like thankful but like yeah i just remember like Flying overseas at that time was really, yeah, it was very risky. So I'm glad, yeah, we're glad that you're good. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Thank you, man. Thanks. Yeah. So you do a lot of like rap. How did you start? Like, what was your influence and just your inspiration oh, yeah. to do music? Actually, since I was, since I was a kid, like I, I, I watch NBA and my favorite player is Ivan Iverson. So uh, this guy, I, yep. 
Yeah, AI, yeah, he's super dope. Like, he's pretty cool. You know, so that time I don't really know what is hip hop. I just like it. Because all the time I'm watching his video, his uh, crossover, they always come with some like rap music. That time I just, wow, that sounds cool, but I don't know what is rap that time. Mm. But, but yeah, till, till I was in middle school, middle school, um, then I heard uh, a diss track. So <laughs> there was like one of the uh, biggest beef between China and then Taiwan. So uh, one of the guy uh, from China mainland, he 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 released uh, this track. When I first time I heard that song, I was like, "Damn, this shit is crazy." So mm. actually, that guy didn't say he didn't mention any like dirty words or sort of things. He always like you know using punchlines since the first sentence, think, since first was till the end, like it was all of punchlines, mm. and that was like, amazing. So start this song. So I learned this song like in one week, sort of things then. Yeah. Um, so then I started getting into hip hop. And that time in you know, in middle school, I, I don't like fear guys in my class. Because <laughs> they, they gossip behind me. So I, I wrote a this track that time. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Cause that time I was a kid, man. So I but you know, once I wrote that that shit, like I post I post on the internet and my classmates, yeah. yo, this is dope. They say, yo, this dope, then this inspired me to get a second this track. So I started writing rap songs. So. <laughs> okay. So, so, you, I start, man. <laughs> so you started you started rapping dissing people, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, yeah. But you also like you put some Asian Asian like um music in your rap, like the one you did. Yep. Um, yep. what is it, Made in China? I don't remember the the name but uh yeah you kind of like put some asian twist as well is it important for you to put some something from your culture in your music yeah definitely man that's definitely that's that's i've been doing all the time because you know um my background is asian is chinese so mm. and you know like no the hip-hop culture is not only you know it's originally from america but it's not only for american right now it's it's worldwide you know, everywhere, Africa, Europe, like Australia, everywhere, like Asian, even yes. Asian, there's like, there's a label called 88 Rice and it blows up like those, those years, you know. So yeah, I know um, them. I'm always like a, uh, in my music present where I come from. So yeah, man. So that's the, that's the, that, that's the elements of my, my music, man. That's mm. how it is. Yeah, for sure. That's dope. Um, Like we we're just talking about this, like, the start of 2020 was kind of crazy. I, I know people in Melbourne are like, oh, this is hard on us. Like we're having a hard time. But like, I think um, also like on international students, like this has been like, a, it was a challenging time, especially for like people who couldn't go overseas to visit their parents and stuff. How was that on like, can you speak on behalf of like people who were like, cause you, I know you have like a few friends who, who are from who are international students who like come over to study and um how was that for for most of the students international students they, they're quite difficult to be honest mm. luckily i graduated uh, in two, uh, 2019 so I, I was so lucky so <laughs> but for a lot of my friends like for those people there's two parts of people like uh one first part like they stay in Melbourne they start uh, they studying in 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 Melbourne already the you know the things like they've been stuck in in their home been quarantined for for like half year that's crazy so and it's very tough you know the things like their parents have to send their money otherwise they cannot go out to work it's it's difficult for survive you know but other people like who's who's in China cannot go to school school and they started school by internet you know they're doing <laughs> online online course but man those kind of things it's totally different man if you gotta learn something you, you literally need to go to class like face to face like online it's different experience man it's totally different things man mm, i can feel that i can definitely relate because i've been doing some online classes it's a little bit different but yeah <laughs> Uh, how is everything in what actually what city are you in right now like what city are you in my city is Hangzhou Hangzhou 
Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. the city where Jack Ma, Alibaba, come from. Yeah, where is he? That's easy. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's in the which is in the uh, south south uh, southeast side of China. So, uh, like uh, it's it's very close to Shanghai. Yeah, uh, our Yeah, I'm also talking about like uh, the guy that studied Alibaba. He's not. He's not. Uh, Jack where, where is he? <laughs> Uh, he's from my city. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's not talking at the moment for some reason. I don't know why. But oh uh, man, it's like uh, he's in some troubles right now. <laughs> I think he took everyone's money, man. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, man, he's like a uh, man. All of the things he released out, man. Like AliPay. I don't know if you heard about AliPay in China. Everybody, we have to use AliPay. When, Cause we don't use cash, credit card anymore, man. Those things whole gone, man. Yeah. Was so old. You know, yeah. man, a lot of places we go there. Even you don't bring your phone, man. Or, lot, you know, no. even like if, uh, before you just need to bring your phone. So like yeah. if we, you just need a scan, do then you you made a payment. No, it's crazy the technology. You know, AliPay. You go there, they scan your face. You made a payment. Really? Yeah. It's crazy. That's man. crazy. I've never heard of that. That's the first time. <laughs> but that's so, only in China. Only in China. Okay. China is advanced. Uh, we are still in like <laughs> we are still yeah. like 1990. China oh, is like man. in 2050. I mean, technology in China no might be very advanced, but living you know, the life quality, I think Australia way much better. Living in China, too much stress, man. The competitions like very, you know, very high. make everyone very stressful, mm. and the and the pay rate is not as good as Australia, you know. Mm. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, that's that's interesting to hear, like the technology and all that stuff. Um, what are your your thoughts on like vaccines, and when do you think things are gonna go back to normal, like? Oh man, I don't Everything. know, man. It's gonna take a long time, I guess. Mm. Maybe to 2025. <laughs> <laughs> <know>. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, I wish I wish it can be gone by this year, man. Mm. But still, you know, a lot of countries they're still struggling for the for this thing, you know. It yep. takes a long time to, to recover. But I wish I wish it can end like as soon as possible. Yes. You know? Hopefully the vaccine do something hopeful for that and um yeah the future projection what about like music when you think people will be able to like do festivals next year i'm hoping 2022 man <laughs> man the things like in china is already go back to normal so we already mm. had a festival music festival or all, all nice. kind of things yeah everything's normal but the things on you know um because I told you the uh, the technology here is very advanced. So everywhere yeah. you go, you got your phone, right? They tracking the uh, they tracking, you know, the place where you've been. You went. So yeah. you, so the safe zone. You have the like green code. Once there's, for example, there's like a state. Once there's once a case found it, so like uh, you've been there, they were tracking you. So um, your green code might be. You know the green code you you have they they will, they will be attractive if you like high risk it's gonna be like a red code so mm. you cannot go a lot of places so you have okay. to go quarantine so okay. no that's why how we can stop the the COVID nineteen mm. you know because the technology helps a lot because China got a big population it's difficult to manage yeah absolutely that's that's facts mm. before you bounce um what are the music that you are listening to and are you working on anything at the moment uh music like no i'm more working on the videos but music uh, i think i'm still gonna i'm still gonna spend some time like maybe uh this year uh first this first and the second quarter i might not gonna spend too much time for making music but mm. the another half year in 2021 i will i think i will i will try to make something Maybe uh, release a mixtape or something. Yeah, please. Okay. And like, there's a lot of great sites in China, so definitely you should. Yeah, man. 
the things like I've done a lot of performance like uh for past few months, so that was pretty good. But the things I didn't work on any new tracks those days. But mm. yeah, I will try to figure it out to uh to make some new things, man. For sure. Um, uh, thank you so much for being part of the show. It's good to like catch up and like hear what's happening in China and um um it's it was great to just catch up and talk i uh, would love to Thank have you. you soon once the pandemic is over we'll, you come through again sure. <laughs> you sure. come Thank through you. for sure um I have so, yeah. mm. all right everybody thank you for tuning in to the connect podcast with mikhail on brim bank live live fm that was young kid lee uh he's a musician uh he's currently in living in china um so we'll see him soon and thank you guys for listening we are thank out you. thanks everyone bye thanks man thanks see you. peace man. peace bye Thanks to the city of Brimbank across our neighborhood and the world, the Connect podcast with Mikael on Brimbank Live on Live FM.